$24.50 for dog stairs? That's not even real. I mean, it's so obvious that's been photoshopped. I wouldn't let my dog walk on this thing. I could build my own for like $50 and have it done in under three days. I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna do it myself and I don't need nobody else. I'm gonna do it myself and I don't want no fucking help. And if it gets too hard, I'll go to YouTube. And if that don't work, I guess I'll hire a dude. After making some simple plans using SketchUp, I transferred the dimensions of the pieces I need to cut to my dim notebook. I went online and I studied how to cut a straight line with a jigsaw. So I hope this works because I'm putting together a few things that I've never done before here and I'm pretty excited. Now this might be a little ambitious, but I'm going to try to cut both side pieces at the same time. Because remember, when you're working with power tools, it's always good to take shortcuts. My first cut is going to be along here and I've locked this straight edge down with the clamps so that I get a nice straight cut along that. Here at DIM, we take safety seriously. I never have the battery attached to the tool until after I put the blade on. And adding the battery, aka the power, is the very last thing I do. That saves any chance of it suddenly turning on by accident. That's a great DIM safety tip. Here I go. Remember, a tidy project is a happy project when you're dimming it up. Well, I've set up my next cut. Same technique. I've locked the straight edge in place so I can guide my jigsaw along this line here. I'm going to get a nice straight piece of wood. I'm not going to get one, I'm going to get two because i got double layer pieces of plywood here. So I'm cutting them both at the same time so it ensures even if I don't cut it perfectly straight, then they're both not perfectly straight. And that's using this thing right here. Not the goggles, the, the head. You can see the holes there I cut using the drill technique, which you can learn about in the Ultra Shelf Trilogy. Hey guys, I've run into some problems using my jigsaw. It's not cutting straight. I'm not happy. I'm going to take it back to the shop and tell them that it's not cutting straight when it's meant to be cut in the straight setting. And I'm kind of ticked off, but the good news and the bad news is I'm forced to take out my circular saw, which I've never used before, and try to make this cut. Now I went on YouTube and took the precautions of trying to teach myself how to do this, but I'm pretty scared and I want you guys to be here and witness this. I hope it goes good. This is my first time using the goddamn circular saw and I'm shitting my pants, but you gotta take that step sometime. And if you're gonna do it, you might as well film it because I could be kinda cool if you guys saw me cut my arm off or something. Probably not that cool for me, but it'd probably uh, send our subscriber count up, so that's good. Wish me luck. I want to cut some nice little handles here. I already drilled one and I forgot to press record, but... I'm going to put one right here. Well, I've got all six pieces cut for the dog stairs. But I got to tell you, I had to use uh, a new tool. I wasn't familiar with the Cirque saw. I don't know. I mean, this one I can see that, you know, there's, there's obvious imperfections there. But ultimately, just because you say, I'm gonna do it myself, doesn't mean you're gonna do a great job. It's not like I'm opening up a professional dog stair company. Cut myself some slack. I'm doing it myself. Look at that handle. It looks like a four-year-old made it. But you know what? When it comes to making shit, I'm only like a one-year-old. So, hey, it's still nice, nice little handle. It just doesn't look very good. Oh well, what's the, what's the dog gonna do? Complain? Forget about it. I had to be a little creative with my first join because it's tough to get the piece in the right position to just get those first two boards together. But you know, these are going to be your best friend. 
unless you have real friends, and then you're that's probably better. But I mean, these, these are okay. I mean, you know, sometimes on Saturday night we do stuff. It's weird because I'm also building this project for ostensibly my best friend. Hey, speaking of which, she's naughty. Once I get these guys in, I should be able to assemble the rest pretty easily, so I'm kind of getting excited. Let's put one more in there. Alright. You can see this is freestanding now, and I think the rest of the pieces should go in pretty simple, but we'll find out now just how bad my cutting and my measuring was. So far, it seems pretty square and pretty stable, I'm pretty excited about it. I can already see that it's not going to be perfect, but once it gets carpeting on it, it's going to look great, and I'm not worried about it. I know, I know the doggy's going to enjoy it, and so I'm excited. Welcome to season two, do it myself. Newer projects, bigger projects, smaller projects, no projects, shitty projects. Doesn't matter because it's season two, baby. You can't stop us. All 162 of, of our subscribers wanted another season, and so they're getting one. I mean, it's not going to win any awards for utter beauty, but it's pretty strong. Strong enough for a doggy. Well, I got it all painted up now. And I'm going to try to put this carpet on here. But I don't, I don't know how to do it. I've never done this before. So I'm going to be going mainly with instinct and intuition. I've got a staple gun. I've got a, I've got a straight edge. Press it in. There's only like a 30% chance this is gonna work. That's part of doing it myself. I take that chance and I relish it. Let's get started. By the way, in case you're wondering, I bought this carpet. It's a discontinued sample that I bought at the carpet store for only $10. But it's almost just the right size. Guess I'm gonna learn a lot, huh? I'm gonna learn a lot about carpet. Now I'm a little mad because these staples didn't go all the way in. I think the wood's too hard for this let's just say consumer grade staple gun. So I'm a little ticked off right now, but I don't know if I hammer them, maybe that'll break them. I just don't know what to do. This is part of the adventure though. One right in the middle. It's not too bad. Ooh, that one went nice and deep, that went real deep. You know, I know I talk about it a lot. That's one of the most exciting things about doing it yourself is that it's an adventure. I'll say it a thousand times. Arch, stop telling me it's a, no. I'm not gonna stop. Just be patient with me because this is a whole new terrain. I've never built stairs for any species. So this is pretty uncharted territory. I've just cut these little edges here that and like that so then I can sort of fold them over and tuck them and staple them down that's my plan anyway Whew. always putting that blade away my buddy Doggy stairs. Oh, good morning. <laughs> How'd you get up here? <laughs> I think I know. That's right, Dad did make you some new stairs. Dog stairs are gonna be a great addition to your house and your little furry friend's gonna thank you every single day. Welcome to season two, guys. Oh boy, that was really good, wasn't it? I'm just kidding. It's me. I was doing an English accent. Hey guys, thanks for coming around to season two. We're just getting started here. We got awesome projects coming up and I don't even, I don't even want to tell you about them because they're too awesome. It'll blow your head up. So just come back and check us out. Like and subscribe and have a great day.